Thank you for tuning in and watch Sixto. My name is Sixto. Today is another vintage review courtesy of Timekeeper. This is a 1956 Bolova Le Petit Ladies Watch. This is the original case from back then. This is pretty cool. You'll open this up. And you get this nice little gold tone inlay, yeah, embroidered bolova, or actually not really embroidered, but just like painted on. You get the old school uh, colorway, and the tag back then was one hundred and thirty-five dollars, and it had its little own little tag. So you know what you're getting. This is pretty cool. That actually still has all the original pieces to it. Let me get this little gem out and re-secure the little dog tag so nothing will not happen. Put the case out of the way. That's pretty cool. So this is. A beautiful piece. Let me zoom in so we can get get better acquainted to it. This is what Bolova put out back in the day for the the ladies. So it's on a nice little cord, black cord uh, strap with a safety keeper. So just in case if your uh, buckle uh, malfunctions or if you actually hit it on something then and, and um, what you, what's the word I'm looking for and all right that if it a uh, malfunction of either from any uh, for any reason operator error you forgot to tighten it and you put on your coat that falls it'll still be on your wrist so this is actually, I actually like this design for the ladies back then. Because Bolova made awesome watches. So this is a 23 jewel movement. It's a manual wine, obviously. If it was an automatic, this would, would have been the original, original uh, smallest movement. I'll, I'll superimpose. In the image of the movement for this one I found on eBay. Here is the case back. It's 14, right? 14 uh, K white gold plated, stamped Bolova, and you got the the, the model back there N01716, and, and the crown is signed with the B. It has the uh, diamonds on the front. I almost want to get my diamond tester out to figure out if it is genuinely diamond. But other than that, I, uh, the measurements for this. Uh, no, let me do this right now because I forgot to measure the whole entire length from, from this end. Oop, out of camera. From here to here. I think it was like a, probably a 40. Nope. Let's see. From the lug to lug, I got 31.9, so 32. Without the crown, we'll, let's see. Don't want to stretch. I got 13.9. If you want to measure the crown, it's 16. The thickness is that pretty much 7, 6.8. Obviously, no, no lug width because obviously it's a rope. It's actually pretty cool. So here is a a true 1957s, let's call it, um, La Petite Ladies Watch. It's like no bigger than my thumbnail, or actually a little bit bigger. 
but that is crazy. Because here it is on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. Bam! Look at that, Joe. You think I could rock it? That is funny. This is something that you could give uh, your newborn child or hell. If you want to have fun, you could put it on your. If you have a, a pet, you could put it on their on their paw so they could have their own timepiece. Manual movement, obviously. You got to hand wind it, but it hasn't been serviced. So this guy needs to go back when I'm done filming it, along with his other content, to get, uh, well, this one for sure needs to be serviced because he just got it uh, about four days ago. It's a cool piece. I'm gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna get my diamond tester. All right, I'm back. Got my diamond tester here cooking. So, like I said, Bolova has pretty cool watches, especially the vintage pieces. There's a, quite a few more vintage pieces that I would love to get from them, but that will come in due time. If you have a favorite Bolova reference, uh, any kind of model, let me know. So this is going to be fun. Ooh. We got diamond. Let's try it over here. Pretty strong. So Baluba did use real diamonds. Mineral crystal. Because I don't think they had a sapphire back then. Let's see. The center one. Okay, that's crazy. That one went off the charts. It reads 14 karat plates. Let's see. Okay, so that's not cool. So this could be a dud. Still reads. Okay. Well, either I have a, a wonky diamond tester or or Seiko has platinum or um, white gold in, in, their, in their case. But anywho, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, really appreciate you guys. Until the next one, you guys have a good one. Bye.